WDT fan and T. Uh, let's start again. WDTV fans, look what I picked up, eh? Wow. A really, really clean Midland. I think this is, yeah, the 3001. Wow. What a nice radio, eh? Anyway, let's see if Dave's about, shall we? Hang on, one second. Dave, you copy? A little bit quiet, mate. Oh, That's why it was ah, was it on the ring or was it on the back of the mic? Uh, it was on the wiring in the plug. The earth had come off. Yeah, it was snapped. Ah, right, okay. The earth had come off on the plug. Yeah, it was snapped. Ah, that's interesting. See, I like it when you find little simple things like that, don't you? Da da, and it's fixed. I heard anybody else on here tonight? Have we heard any Bruce or anybody tonight? Let's just put that Midland in there, shall I? There we go. Can you see the Midland? Oh, lovely looking radio. Yeah, sorry, I was just adjusting the camera there so everybody could see the Midland that I'm trying to show them. Really nice Midland 3001 I've got. Which rig? The one you just got. Let's have a look. I don't think it has, mate. It's a bit basic. So you're thinking about trying it on the 12 volt feed? Is that what you're telling me to do? Well, if it's got, if it's got one, uh, if you look on the back, it should just be like a, a small, like kettle leak type of thing. That is a nil poire, nil poire, my friend. Ah, oh, well, it's worth a go. Yeah, I think the uh, Series 1 has as well, but I don't want to say too much anyway, Dave, at the moment. No, I'm not going to mention, don't worry. But it is a mighty fine Midland 3001 there that I've got. I tell you, it's beautiful, mate. No, I'm on the Excalibur. I see. Yeah. I'm on the Midland. The Midland. The Midland. The Midland. <laughs> Are you running help there? No, that's just straight. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sounds lovely now you've fixed the mic there. It does sound nice. So, where's everybody else then? Anybody else on side listening in here? I think they're all on le earlier on today, actually, because I heard uh, Roger when I went shopping. Okay. And I think Bruce and Terry were on as well at one point. Oh shit, he picked up the wrong mic. Yeah, uh, Terry's a rare one on here at the moment. Yeah, well, he, I think he was at home and he was getting out. Well, no problem. Hmm. Did you go back to him then? No, I was just about to go in the bloody supermarket. All right, all right, okay, okay. Brucey, Bruce, you one side there? Don't 
Don't get Bruce on camera anymore. He's bloody so busy, the poor man. You know what I mean? He's got so much work on. He's a landscape garden, Bruce is. Message him, Dave. Ask him for a rig check. He'll come on then. Yeah, do what you need to do. You might need to change the resistor in it, like the one I had off Steve. Um, I've got resistors here if you need them. Variable resistors got a little screw in the back of them on the back of a uh, Delta ME3 power mic thing. I think I do believe it is. Shit! How many fucking words is that written on there? For fuck's sake! Sorry, my laptop's writing its own password here. You lot won't get to see it. Okay, cool. So yeah, I can't wait to try this um, this Midland 3001. It's going to be pretty amazing. We'll see what Dave's mic's like, and then we'll believe it for tonight. I don't want to stretch it out. I've got a few bits and pieces I want to get sorted out in the shack, you know. No modulation on that one there, mate. Zero modulation if that was you there, Dave. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. You're breaking channel, mate, but you're not I can't hear nothing you're saying. Yeah, very quiet lately, but everybody's doing a lot of skip and stuff lately, so you know. Is that Andy? Andy? Hello. How are you doing, fella? You all right, mate? Fine, fine. And yourself, sir? Very good, mate. Very good. You're coming in loud and proud tonight. Sounding good. I've only got it connected up to one rig and one one log. I said about it. It will connect up to, like, two different TVs. Yeah, copy that. You're giving me nine pounds tonight, mate. You are singing in. I have no idea what you're talking about there, Andy. Okay, then. Fair enough. <laughs> well, you or Dave, one of the only ones. What, are you talking about Dave's 805? Yeah, the one you uh, was playing with all your new rigs and stuff and bits and pieces and whatever. You've got more bloody rigs than Bruce has got now, have yeah? Well, you know, I've said this to Bruce. You know, Bruce has been has been the um, the stay mark. You know, he's got that many nice rigs, and I know we're going to have to pry him out of his cold dead hands. But you know, they are about. It's just whether you want to bloody go and get them and put the time into it, isn't it? Yeah, he's a sort of well, what do you call him? A rig master, I suppose, isn't he? Yeah, he's like the feng shui of r rigs, isn't he? Yeah, that's the idea, though. That's the idea. You know, I am, um, like I keep saying, I'm buying all this for nostalgia purposes. You know, I'm even buying ones that don't work just so I can learn how to bloody fix them. Well, you've got to start somewhere, I suppose, isn't it? At least if you start on the old stuff, basic 40 channel, there's less stuff in it to, to start with, isn't there? Well, you can start with the old stuff, but Agreed, agreed. Anyway, how's your weekend been? All right, mate? Yeah, fine. Then done a great deal because the weather's been crap. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, agreed. Yeah, just kept myself, uh, well, kept myself amused, shall we say. I didn't even realise you watched my channel there, Andy. Yeah, it blipped up on my phone last night, went to us. And uh, I thought, oh, what's that then? Do I have a look down through? Oh, yeah, nice, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll well, they they on the phone, so I'll well, often go on and watch them. Ideal, I appreciate every viewer I get anyway. Dave's playing with his new toy tonight. I think he's he's put an ME3 on it, but it isn't working, the ME3. I think it needs a resistor on the back, like the one I had. Alright. Yeah, I think on the little film with video bit I see, you were saying I unwrapping the box or something. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's Dave unwrapping it. Well, well, it depends what video you've seen. If you've seen Dave's, then you would have seen Dave unwrapping his, his um, Lafayette. Yeah, his new Christmas present. Mm. Yeah, it seems to be Christmas Day every day at the moment, though. The freaking post is going mad. But my missus is into Vinted, so, you know, I'm doing eBay and she's doing Vinted. <laughs> I've got a few bits for sale here, but I haven't put them up yet. Um, a couple need repair. I was thinking about selling off a few. I mean, the fucking pile's getting massive here. I ain't got time to use them all, and I want to be able to use them all, so I'm only going to keep what I want. Well, I said you can only use so many, can't you? Yeah. I mean, try to have them, like, you know, shove them under the bed and whatever, but... Yeah. Yeah, that's it, where everybody relies on the old-fashioned switch cleaner there, doesn't they? Right, but, uh, yeah, I've got a switcher box on top of the other rig here, which I had the other one connected into, so I can flick over from the side band to FM straight 40, and that one, now I hit it, I don't know, with a hammer, I don't think it worked very well, no? No, no, it tends to happen. Hammers tend to, uh, they do utilise all problems by creating one fucking big problem where it just doesn't work, you know, but... They do help sometimes when you're nailing a fence up. <laughs> yeah, I think I was on the other uh, night listening to could have been you and Dave. And I thought, well, why is a signal keep bouncing up and down here? One when I got you at sort of nine pound plus, then you drop down to about three, then you back up again. So what the hell's going on? So I held my finger on top of the button, and you was bang on like nine plus. And I thought, oh. Must have been a switcher box. I took it all apart. Didn't see nothing much inside, so I just got teed up and hit it. We've all done that, mate. We've all done that. Um, I've got a pile of switcher boxes here that I've bought from car boot sales and all the rest of it, and they are absolute freaking junk once they've sat around for a little while. You know, they do become junk. Oh, yeah. Come on, I've had this one for quite a few years. I can't remember where I got it or when I got it, but... Uh... Yeah, so I think I might have to uh, invest in a new one. Yeah, copy that. See if Dave's back now. See if he's got a copy on you there, buddy. Dave, you copy? Yeah, I've got you, mate. But you're right in the back of the bloody noise as usual, mate. I can only just make you out. Yeah, I was saying, you were coming through the other night. They're quite high pending, but you dropped down to about six now. Normally, they're about nine. Yeah, I've got nearly... Generic beer. What happened? He's gone. Dave, where are you gone? I was but I couldn't hear anything. Um yeah, it's gone in the noise now. He's lost you in the noise there, Andy. Yeah, no problem. You take a back to the Cavio Main. Dave? What antenna are you running tonight then? Um, that's the Antron. Ah, okay, you need to swap them over. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter, mate. I've always struggled to pick Andy up, to be honest. Oh, that's a shame, that's a shame, that's a shame. Anybody else inside? Anybody else want to come back? Where's Brucey? God, it's just us three, is it? Wow, it's getting shocking. You got a busy week coming in, Andy? Uh, hopefully not so busy as last week. I had quite a few cars to get ready and bits and pieces, but uh, plus I'm bombing south with low, because yeah, the bloke I wouldn't need in traffic off to work at another guy, so I've been uh, left on my own some. 
Oh, but at least you uh, you can uh, be your own boss type of thing if you're on your own. Well, yeah, but they won't let me go out of the truck or nothing because I'm the only one there, so there's no one to do service washes, and I'm just flat out just bloody cleaning cars all the time, so. Yeah. Yeah, with service washes and turning it in the sound, so God, I was done. Uh, yeah, they won't let me go out, and all the garages are saying, oh, we want cars moved. He said, nope, Andy can't leave the garage. Oh, that's not so good. That's not so good. No, oh, but, uh, yeah, there's... Well, new cars I've got to pick up, which we've sold at the walls, but, uh... And he said, well, I don't know when you're going to get them. I said, well, if you want them to go out, I'll have to go back to them, I? Yeah, that's it. So you've got to find time to wash cars and fetch cars, yeah? That's right. And then, then what I got them, you know, until them cleaned up, ready to go out. There's only so much one man can do there, mate. <laughs> you gotta have a go, you know, come on, you know, you gotta be your money's worth, haven't you? Oh yeah, they they try. Yeah, some people do they really do take the piss when it comes to work. But let's not get bogged down in that anyway. That's right. But uh think of the uh the better version after this week I'm off for a week so I don't give a shit then. Yeah, Dave's just had a week off and I've just had a week off as well. It's been a bit bit nice actually. Yeah, but, uh, you know, at least I won't be getting out quite early and whatever, so that'll be the, one, that'll be the main thing. Oh, excuse me, Andy, sorry. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, I was doing a massive yawn then, and I didn't want to come back and yawn. <laughs> I didn't want you to, you know, swallow the mic. Mm -hmm. I nearly did there, I nearly did. Honestly, a little tear dropped out and everything. Crazy. Been bloody quiet on here lately, apart from the skip in a day. In the evening, it's been quiet. I think everybody's got pissed off at the noise in the day and not come back. <laughs> oh, it could be something like that. There's a hell of a lot of sideband stuff around there, which is like, you know, buggering up a lot of people. But I'll tell you, Bruce and Terry this morning for a brief few minutes, but uh, I think Terry's just got his normal noise again. Yeah, that's strange, that is, because he's literally just in his house. It's like someone's got a jammer outside his house. No, crazy. I've seen Terry's gear. Jesus Christ, man. He could literally talk to the freaking moon if he wanted to. Yeah, well, it's a shame though, when he's got all that gear. Mm. And, well, it ain't much fucking good to anyone, really, is it? Because he can't pick up no one. No, no, he's a shocker. Yeah. I uh, literally walked in his garden, it's like an antenna mu museum. There is antennas everywhere. Yeah, yeah, he said that to me the other day as well, because I spoke to him in his lorry. It surprised me, really. I was like, where are you? He was like, Camelford. It's like, why haven't you been on channel? He's like, oh, just so much noise at home. I reckon someone's got a jammer down in his place, because literally, you drive down the road, as soon as you get into the houses near him, you can hear this fucking massive noise. It's like off the scale, man. It's mental. <clears throat> Yeah, but it just seems, the signal's so strong, it just seems a bit too much for a fucking, a dodgy fish tank pump or something, you know? Well, yeah, it must be something giving off a lot of power or something, yeah. But, you know, I mean, the other night I had it, it was started at three, but every ten minutes it was creeping up another pound, and it got to about nine, and I thought, right, turn it off. Yeah, I'm not doing too bad, three and a half pound of noise I'm pulling here tonight, that is not bad at all for me. Mine's on one, so hopefully it stays on one. As I said that, it flicked up to four, so, you know, obviously someone's turned on their Wang Chang laptop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah don't go speaking too soon. I just thought that when I said it just now. 
Yeah, it's flickering a bit, so there's obviously a bit of background there anyway. Right, let's see what Dave's doing. Dave, come back. Yeah, I'm just, uh, just been and got another beer. Oof. Um, I've just switched on to the 99 now as well. Have you got Andy now? No, still in the noise, unfortunately. I thought I'd get him on this, but um, I changed the other antenna as well. So you changed the other antenna and put it on the 99 and you still can't hear him? I've tried it on everything, mate. Yeah, that's not good, is it? That's not good. I wonder why that is, though. He gives me a banging signal here. There must be just something in the way of you, pair. Yeah, I know. I don't know. <clears throat> Pain in the ass, though. It really is. Yeah, yeah agreed. Agreed. Right, I've got a pizza in the oven, so look, I've got to go and get my pizza out of the oven and it'll be freaking cremated. Um, I'm surprised Bruce hasn't come on or anybody yet. It's, it's Steve there. Steve, you on side. No one's talking to us. What's going on here? I'm getting pizza, mate. I may as well call it a night. Well, I've got work tomorrow, so can't hear Andy. Hmm. Yeah, copy that. I might call it a night as well. I've had a few late ones the last couple of days. Andy, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the plug on this one. I'm gonna eat some food and uh, it's Sunday. I'm gonna chill out, mate. Yeah, no problem. I'll uh, catch <laughs> four eaters around and uh, same with Dave. I think, yeah, me. It's not you pass the message on. Hmm. Yeah, copy that. Davey sends his 70 freeze, mate. Yeah, cheers, Andy. Let me freeze, mate. Catch you both later. Yeah, good night. Good night. Good night to you both. Yeah, see you later, mate. Oh, there you go, look. So, yeah, I've got, I got to try this Midland out. Uh, might be something else in the pipeline coming up. You never know what's in the pipeline. You know, there's always something about unexpected. All right, so, uh, everybody who tunes in... Awesome. I'm not, I haven't replied to any comments yet, so I'm not going to do one on this video. Everybody tunes in. Awesome. Going to try and go back to some of the smaller stuff next week. Try and might give the binner tone like seven days burnout. This has been sitting on since I got it to get some heat and temperature for it. This thing has been on full, full time. Just sat there on 37 FM. It's sat there since I, since I got it. All right. So we'll try out this, see what it's like, and then we'll see whatever else pops up in the channel. All right, people? Please like and subscribe if you haven't. Um, please comment below, you know. I'll, you'll see. I always reply. I always try and reply. Sometimes I do read your comments and it's like fucking 7 o'clock in the morning. So if you get a really weird reply, I'm sorry about that. And if you get one at like 1 o'clock in the morning and it doesn't make any sense, I'm sorry about that one too. All right? So, uh peace out, temporary freeze, two year old chop chop and see you later.